So good morning. It's uh, day 81 and I'm headed back to the trail after being at Shelter Cove. And something about railroad tracks and tunnels are as interesting as windmills. So like I said, it's day 81 and I'm headed back to the trail via the side trail. It's uh, after 10. Let's see, it's actually 10, almost 10.40. And uh, I don't know how far I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna play it by ear. I had three breakfasts at Shelter Cove. Cost me almost 40 bucks, but I didn't really eat much yesterday while I was doing the big 38 mile day. And so I was starving this morning. Actually last night too, but there was nothing open to get food. So anyway, I'm off to a great start since I had such a great breakfast. Hope you guys' day is starting the same. And I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, I'm officially back to the trail and headed north again. So this is Odell Lake, the uh, lake that I camped on last night. You can see the boat docks back over here. That's right in that area was where I camped. So on that Highway 58, as you can tell, is a pretty busy highway. All right, I safely made it across there. So I'm at uh, Lower Rosemary Lake, and then there's a uh, middle lake and then a north lake. And the comments on Far Out are the north lake is the best for a swim. So I am gonna go up there and go for a swim. This is Middle Rosemary Lake. Well, that was an awesome little swim in a lake all by myself. Very fun. The water temperature was really just right. Cool, but not too cold. Here's looking back towards the direction we came from. You remember way this lake back here, this is the one that had kind of that white sandy beach look around it. And I think this is Odell right there. And then these three are the lakes that we just went by and this is the one that I swam on. I think the original direction we came from was way back over here. So for today's uh, gear, slash technology uh, subject. You know, I often refer to the app that hikers use called Far Out. So Far Out used to be called Gut Hooks. It was bought out by somebody, it might be Google, I'm not sure who, but uh, they changed the name to Far Out. And they sell maps of different trails, the Pacific Crest Trail included in it. And you can buy like a section of it. You can buy the whole thing. It's not expensive. I think the whole thing is like 60 bucks. But uh, it's really a multi-function app that's uh, extremely useful. So I'm gonna put some screenshots in here to show, to show you what I'm explaining. So you can have your phone in airplane mode, which uh, most hikers do because it helps save the battery but the GPS in the phone will still work. So when you're in the app, there's a button you can push to turn the GPS on and off. And when you turn the GPS on and you look at a, this uh, one portion of the app, it'll show you where you're at, where the trail is at, where you're at in relation to the trail, um, altitude, just uh, various things on there. So if you're navigating and 
trying to find where the trail is, you can use this function to help identify where the trail is at or what's up ahead. So I'll put a little screenshot of that in here. So another function is uh, like an elevation guide. And what that this function does is it can show you what's up ahead as far as elevation goes and gradient. So let's say, you know, you're wanting to do 10 miles and or 30 miles, whatever it is. And you want to look up ahead and say, okay, wow, at the end of the day, I'm going to have a great big climb. Or at the beginning of the day, I'm going to have, you know, a 6,000 foot climb over five miles. This part of the app will help you figure that stuff out. There's a comment section that allows you to look ahead at um, campsites, water, uh, just various things. And it has, usually has a picture and a brief description of what's up ahead of you or behind you. And then there's ability for hikers to put comments on there. And um, it's really useful when it comes to campsites and water, uh, particularly if a stream is dried up, you know, somebody will annotate on there, dry as of whatever date, or they'll say that the water's flowing great, or this, this campsite, campsite has a bunch of mosquitoes don't camp here, um, or this is beautiful, it's the perfect spot to camp. Uh, I'll show you a comment about the lakes that I went swimming in and uh, why I chose the last one because the person that wrote the comment said the last lake was the best one to swim in. Then there's a, you can look up ahead at towns and see how far away you are from whatever town. And then if you click on that town, it'll give you a little town guide and a brief description of what might be available in the town or um, also some of the services that are there. Uh, I don't know if people pay to... to uh, get their name put on there or how all that works but uh, it's also a really good spot or resource to try to find out some information about a town and what might be avail available to you there in addition to that on those people can comment and so frequently um, there may not be something listed in the town guide but there will be something listed in the comments So all in all, it's really a uh, great planning tool. I use it multiple times a day, at helping me figure out uh, where the next water is or at the beginning of the day, I'll say, hey, I wanna do around 25 to 30 miles and I'll start looking at campsites that are there and whether there's water there or not. Um, so I know if I have to dry camp, which means that you're camping at a spot where there is no water and you'll have to carry enough water to uh, get you through the evening, cook your dinner, and then get you the next morning to the next water source. So lots of things to think about, and uh, this tool makes it very easy. It's also very easy to get uh, reliant on it. If it were to go away, there'd be a lot of hikers out here that would be in trouble, including me. 
Here's a look at today's trail conditions. Nice and cruisy through these trees. I'm not complaining. So it's three o'clock and I'm still walking through the trees. Look at this bird right here. Here's some of the great Oregon trail maintenance people working on the trail. They do a really awesome job here. Well, here's something a little different today other than the woods. Big rock fields. So it's 5.15 and I'm gonna keep going for a couple more hours. I gotta stop and get some water here in a little bit. But uh, might as well keep putting miles in. So this is my water source for tonight. It's uh, Charlton Lake. And I'm going to fill up. There's some other water along the way. But I'm going to fill up here. And then just whatever campsite comes along. Then I can camp there and not have to worry about water. So I'm walking through a burned out area. This had to have happened like in the last year or so. I mean, the ground is just ash. Well, it's definitely a different looking trail than what I've showed you before. I think I prefer the other trail better. I don't know, I just wanted to film this as the sun's setting. It's a unique uh, landscape that's just completely torched. I mean, the ground is really, truly just ashes. And uh, there's some uh, views over here of the South Sisters, which I pointed out to you in a couple other videos. But you can see them right there. I'm getting closer and closer to them. I'll tell you, walking through this area, um, it feels like the apocalypse with the, the sun setting and everything just torched like this. I haven't seen a hiker in hours. It's just me out here walking through this burned out area. Definitely feels uh, kind of eerie. So I'm leaving a big burned out area and then just going into the fringe here. You can see the trees are black and, and wilted, uh, but not devastated like out here. All right, so I'm back in the woods. You can see a little bit of sign of burn around the bottom of some of these trees. I guess some of them are burnt all the way to the top. But uh, definitely not like where I was walking. So, uh, this will be the wrap up for, let me turn the camera around here. So this will be the wrap up for day 81. Started off at Shelter Cove this morning, had a shower, had three big breakfasts. All day I felt pretty full actually. And uh, now I'm about a half mile from camp and I will have walked somewhere around 25 miles today. Um, which I think is good since I didn't get started till 10.45, 10.40, something like that. So I'm happy with it. Hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep and be able to do a big day tomorrow. Um, we'll see if I'm camping by myself tonight. I don't know, I haven't seen anybody like I was saying earlier or in hours. So I'll, uh, if I can, I'll get a video of the tent site, and uh, otherwise, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Hope you had a great day. Good night. For those of you worried about me camping by myself at night, tonight's the night to worry.